Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Welsh one-way ANOVA using SPSS. I'm using SPSS 29, but this probably also works in earlier versions. Uh, the video will focus on how to perform the test, not so much if you should. There are many tests that can actually compare different means across categories. Um, if you're interested in uh, the differences, uh, have a look on my website. There's a link to my website in the description below. So, to perform the Welsh one-way ANOVA, we go for Analyze, and then Compare Means, and then we select One-way ANOVA. Here, we need to select, uh, for the dependent list, our scale variable, the one on based, we're going to calculate the averages. I'm going to use what grade you would have given the course. And as our factors, it's going to be the grouping variable, so that's going to be, for my case, the location, so I move that to the right. Then under options, and that's important, uh, we have to select the Welsh test, because that's the one we want to see. Then click on continue, and click on OK. You now should get output, I'll bring it into view, that looks like this. As you can see, I already did it once, but here's the new output. It shows uh, the ANOVA table um, with a significance, but we were interested in the Welsh test, so that's over here. If you need more digits, you can actually double click on these, and then you can double click again, and then you can see far more digits. The same goes for the degrees of freedom, or the significance, if you double click, you can actually see the p-value. That's the one that's probably most of interest, the p-value is 0 0.00005, which is below the usual threshold of 0.05. Um, if it's below, it usually means that we reject the null hypothesis, in this case that the means are all the same across the different categories. So we reject that, because it's below 0 0.05 which means therefore that at least two of them are probably different or slightly more general that the location has an influence on the average grade that the students gave. And that's how you can perform a uh, one-way Welsh ANOVA. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.